Hi guys and welcome back to Happily a Homeschool Mom. Um, it is the final week of November, November 27th through Friday the 30th. So this is what school week we are working on um, with lesson plans this week. So I'm going to get um, the stickers together to start planning our school week. Um, I think I'm going to use this washi tape um, on my pages this week just because we got our tree yesterday. So I thought that was relevant and I'll probably try to match um, my stickers with this Kelly Green in this washi tape. So I'm going to get started and I will be right back. Hi guys, I'm back with um, my lesson planning um, for the week. And this is what, this is an overview of what the stickers look like that I use this week. And washi tape and so forth. So I'm going to write down the lesson plans for the week and I will be back. Hi guys, I'm back. My lesson plans are completed for this week. Um, we kind of have a lot going on with um, quite a few assessments and quizzes this week. Um, but we should be able to accomplish a lot um, individually and as a group. So individually, this is Hunter's, Ethan's, and our group work. So on Monday, basically, the kids have their spelling pretest. Um, Hunter and Lit is reading A Christmas Carol. He'll be reading it all week. I want him to finish that book um, by Friday. He's also reading Around the World in 80 Days. Um, he has been reading that for quite a while, since the beginning of school, but it is a longer book. Um, he's going to be reading chapters 25 through 29 this week, and he will probably be done with this book by possibly next week or the very beginning of the following week, because I think there's only 36 chapters in that book. So, and I think he'll be pretty happy to be done with it because it's taken him a while to read that book. So, and then um, in math and algebra, I don't think he has any, he doesn't have any math tests this week at all. And then in English, um, he does have a quiz on Friday. And I think that's it for him. And then Ethan, um, of course, he has a spelling pretest on Monday, spelling work, and then spelling test on Friday. If he doesn't get 100 on his pretest on Monday. Um, in Lit, he is reading a book that basically um, tells how different um, things began or how they started um so this on monday he's doing penicillin x-rays and the frisbee on um tuesday he's doing the piggy bank silly putty and slinky how these things were invented um wednesday bricks glass blowing and ivory soap and on thursday paper towels and then he's done with the book and then he's going to start his new book on Thursday, which is called In um, Christmas in My Heart. And he'll read the first story, Holy Night. And then on Friday, he'll read Top 20 in um, the Christmas in My Heart book. And then for reading, he'll continue reading um, the chapter book that he's reading or the novel he's reading on Jimmy Skunk. And he's reading chapters 15 through 19 this week. And he will be done with that book next week. Pretty sure there's only, I think, 20. Let's see how many chapters are in that book. If I can turn back. Um, 23 
chapters in that book. So he really only, he'll be done by the middle of next week with that book. And then he'll start his new book. So um, for math, it looks like he has a couple quizzes. Let's see, he has a quiz here on Wednesday. And he doesn't, no, no. Maybe he just has one quiz. Yeah, he only has one math quiz this week. And in English, it doesn't look like he has any quizzes or tests. And then for our group work, um, they have history all week. Um, unit two, they do have a history test on Thursday or assessment. And then in science, um, we're studying temperature, um, carbon dioxide levels, um, the ozone layer, and no quizzes this week in science. Um, it doesn't look like there's any experiments this week either. I think they have some um, math figurations to do though because any time that there's scientific formula, that they have to use any scientific formulas, it usually includes um, converting um, scientific formulas into math equations. So I'll probably do that. And then, um, or they will do that. I shouldn't say they'll probably do that. They will do that. And then they have geography. They're studying the U.S. and Canada constitution, changes needed, health, harnessing the habits of disease, constitution calls for reform, and then constitution Mount Vernon Conference of 1785. And that is it. And for the end of the month, I'd like to finish up these units, um, geography, um, the geography unit that they're on. I can't remember what number that is. I didn't write it down, let's see. Um, looks like unit four. And then constitution unit four, health unit three, science module two. And that's it. That's it for the rest of the month of November. Um, I, yes, he's going to finish Christmas Carol this week. So that is it. This is kind of a short video, but... This is our lesson plans for the week, and I thank you all for watching. I hope you'll have a good school week, and I will catch you back here next Saturday when I plan the month of December. So I can't believe that it's already December. We're almost halfway through the school year, guys. We're doing, we're just trucking all along. So I will talk to you later. Bye.